Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. Clicked on to the long range weather forecast discussion for July 2nd to the 14th, July 2nd to the 6th. We have a ridge that's forecast still over Alaska, a blocking high, and we have progressive low at a low out, uh, amplified flow falling across uh, the northern U.S. and a broad ridge will cover the southern U.S. during this period. Now, um, during this period, we're expecting showers and thunderstorms across the northern Rockies into the Great Lakes and Ohio Valley to the central Appalachians. Some of the activity could spread further eastward at times. Some of the storms could be strong to severe. And then another area of rainfall will be across the southern Rockies and plains, showers and storms, and also from the southern plains to the Gulf Coast due to an upper weakness over the southern plains. July 5th to the 9th. The westerlies remain across the northern U.S. You can see it like this. And we have a broad ridge covering the southern U.S. And there are some indications of a weak trough here across the northwest and the northeast. So we're going to go forward in time. And we look at the models. They're in pretty good agreement. So for this forecast period, I'm forecasting above normal temperatures from much of the nation and I'm forecasting anomalies of two to four degrees above normal for precipitation calling for above normal precipitation here probability of occurrence is 35 to 45 percent and then we have below normal precipitation across this region here and the probability of occurrence is 35 percent now the period for July 10th to the 14th The GFS, you can see here, is, let me see where I saw something here when I was going through the maps. GFS kind of sinks its upper low southward and brings a trough into the Great Lakes in the northeast, pushes a ridge here um, over the northwest, as does the NAEFS too. The other models, however, keep a low progressive flow across the nation, but near to above normal heights. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperatures here and here, and I'm forecasting anomalies of two to four degrees above normal, below normal temperatures here, because I think this might be the pattern with GFS and NAEFS shows below normal temperatures of two degrees below normal and for precipitation calling for above normal precipitation from the northern central plains into the northeast and mid-atlantic and the probability of occurrence is 40 percent and then we have below normal precipitation here probability of occurrence is 35 percent that's the long range weather forecast discussion for july 2nd to the 14th thanks for coming jim on world of weather and have a good day